Hi, welcome to Gear Garage. I'm Zach. This is my little internet show about whitewater stuff. And today we're continuing to talk about maneuvering in rapids and with ore boats. And we're going to talk about ferrying. But just as a review, uh, anytime you want to negotiate rapids, you do some pretty basic stuff. You either have to go faster than the current or slower than the current. You can just drift. I mean, some, you can just go down rapids and just hopefully make it sometimes, if you, especially if you set up correctly. Um, and also for advanced boaters, you use river features. You use holes and rocks and, and you use things in the river. But when we're learning, we have to do one of these two things basically to make maneuvers. And the, and the things we're doing are one, catching eddies. I did a video on that. And ferrying. And ferrying is how we get back and forth across the river. If you can master these two skills, you can run a lot of rivers, a lot of rapids. It really kind of boils down to these two skills. There's more stuff out there, but this is the majority of it. And to do these things, you have to work on your, your position, angle, angle, and momentum. And I break up momentum into linear momentum and angular momentum. And the angular momentum is spin. And it's a pretty advanced technique. We're not gonna go into it for a while. So let's talk about ferrying. When you're ferrying, basically all you're doing is turning your, your boat at an angle to the current and pulling back upstream, going slower than the current. And, and there's a lot of ways to ferry that are advanced. You can, there's more ways to do it, but 95% of the time, we're floating down a river like this in our fancy boat, we're turning the angle and then pulling this way. And by pulling, we're basically just slowing down. The idea of ferrying comes from you know, back in the day, people would, would have like wooden rafts. They would ferry back and forth across the river so people could cross. You show up to your horse and you're like, get off your horse. You pay some guy 25 cents. He puts you on this wooden thing that's tied to ropes. And all it does is put the boat at an angle. And if a boat stays, it's going slower in the current or just stays in the position relative to the shore. If it's at an angle, it'll just move across nicely, right? That's, that's where the idea of ferrying started. Well, in a boat, we're doing basically the same thing. Although there's no ropes and there's no horses, we're just basically floating down. And at some point you need to get on one, to one side of the river, you turn the boat at some angle, which we'll just say typically is 45 degrees, but it's anywhere from like, let's say 38 degrees to 89 degrees, right? You turn it at an angle. And if you don't pull on the oars, you'll keep drifting like this. But as soon as you pull on the oars, it gets you upstream. The boat will go slower than the current and start moving this way on its own. It's pretty cool. When you feel it, you're like, whoa, all I have to do is slow down, turn the boat, and it's gonna move over. And, you know, I like a, you know, a 45-ish degree angle, 60's good, 30's okay. The more straight you are like this, the slower you'll go. The more you turn this way, the more aggressively you'll get over here. And I'm also a huge fan of just, if you need to get to one bank, just turn your boat and just pull to that bank. There's actually no technical ferrying here, but it's incredibly effective. And so, you know, if you have to make that move, I would say a more aggressive angle like this will get you there quicker. So that's just an overall view of ferrying. You can also, you know, for advanced boaters that are strong, turn the boat upstream and push, 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 but it takes a lot more skill and a lot more strength to do that. So almost all the time we talk about ferrying in oar boats, we're back ferrying. And, you know, this is how we negotiate rivers. If we think of a rapid here, this is one big rapid. Um, you know, right here, we have a, the current's going by here, forming an eddy line, because the current's going like this, back like that. They kind of gets messy there. Same thing, the current's coming down here, back filling here. So it's getting messy here. This is a rock. The current's coming down, going around the rock, and back filling. So there's eddy lines like this. So if we want to maneuver through rapids, a lot of what we're doing, if we come in here, if we want to get to this eddy, we basically pull, 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 pull. And I, you know, if you're advanced, you at the last minute turn your boat and just push into the eddy, right? then push out like this and you can ferry back across. Let's say we're doing this on a push. Push, 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 push. That pushing, again, you're going slower to the current and you're at an angle. It'll push, 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 push. At the last minute, turn your boat in, catch the eddy like that. Leave the eddy. You can ferry for a minute and then turn downstream. 
push into the eddy, boom, you know, and then push back out and go downstream. And so it's just a lot of ferrying and catching eddies. Another way to do this again, all by pulling, you know, you can start here, pull, 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 try to pull into this eddy. When we're par or parallel to an eddy line, it's hard to cross, so we're gonna catch it lower because it's just really hard to cross the line. Get in the eddy, move to the top, leave the eddy on a pull, get an angle, pull out, pull, 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 pull. Same thing, get over here, you know, pull into the eddy line, you're gonna have a hard time breaking the angle, so you're gonna kind of fidget a little bit. You'll get in there though, hopefully, go back up, leave on a pull, 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 pull. pull. And then kind of pull into this eddy and kind of go low and get up there and then do whatever you want to do. So, like I said, I really, if you can really master the idea of ferrying and catching eddies, you can do a lot of rapids. You can advance very quickly. And this again, like this just takes practice. It just takes you going to your local river and just catching an eddy that, that you don't need to catch, but catch it anyway and try to ferry across and then turn it and ferry across again. And as you're learning, you just want to be ferrying back and forth across the river. And then you'll start learning about surfing, right? As you're ferrying across, you'll catch a wave and you'll go, whoa, the wave can actually surf you across, which is a river feature using one of the river features. So that's it for ferrying. I'm like I've told, maybe told you in past episodes, I'm working on a more comprehensive set of videos about river instruction, getting better at rowing. So if you have things to add to this, like extra tidbits or thoughts, um, any feedback for me, it's really appreciated. And yeah, see you in the next episode. Thanks.